Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Sayu felt betrayed. The only thing I can think of right now is the situation that happened with Quinn. Based on what they're saying here, I can't tell you how disappointed, sad, angry, frustrated, and just disappointed I am right now. Like, wow, I've literally just been treated like trash because I wanted to trust and believe in someone. The only one I can think of, of course, I don't I don't live in her head. I don't know everything that's happening with Sayu, but I do follow her and I follow a lot of things that she does. So I do know that uh, Quinn was a big issue that happened recently. And for this Quinn situation, which is what I think it is, if, if I am correct, this Quinn situation bringing this kind of struggle and this kind of anger, this kind of frustration, this kind of everything with her after all that she's put in, everything that she's done to get herself back up on her own feet, to get herself back up to where she is seen as her own independent person, her own individual, doing her things the way that she can, the best way that she wants to. So that is frustrating as a person who watches her, as a person who's seen her after the whole Zion incident, the person who's been rooting for her since the whole Zion incident. It is frustrating to see this. It says, if you're talking about Quinn, don't bother. That dude's a failure and doesn't deserve your trust. It says, I assume you might be have a hard relation with a revelation about someone, people's intentions. Always a gut wrencher, but in a way, it's good to finally see the real colors bleed through. On a long enough timeline, the truth always wins. Keep your head up out there. You got a trip to enjoy. I feel like it's a good to listen to warnings, but I always test the waters for myself. The, this was said directly to me. So this was a direct situation that they were dealing with, that they were um, revelations suck. I've had my own revelations this year. People who I thought were the kindest individuals, a person that was close to me, that I thought was close to me, who was I felt was super kind and I felt was, you know, a good part of the community, ended up stabbing me in the back and accusing me of a bunch of things. And uh, that was basically an a-hole move that they wanted to do to try to bring me down and to try to destroy my channel. It didn't work, but they really did try. So that is I the reason why it irks me so much and the reason why it annoys me so much because I've gone through this. People who for four years pretended to be my friend all of a sudden backstab me because I have a little bit of growth and I have a little bit of growth. I'm talking to you. I'm not, I'm not a big guy by any stretch of the imagination and I don't grow anywhere near to the size of Sayu. But I was very frustrated when it happened to me and it hurt a lot and it still hurts. As you can tell, it still hurts to this day uh, to be betrayed the way that I was. And it's, it's an unfortunate situation, but I'm glad that she's doing fine. I'm glad she has her community around her and she has people who care around her. But yes, she did get betrayed by someone that she thought was not going to do it and someone that she thought was possibly going to be a good friend and possibly going to lead to good things and you know all that it's very it sucks a lot for this to happen so Niji sanji as we know has been really good friends with nintendo and doesn't want to push anything negative on nintendo and stuff like that basically uh there are no remaining power world i think maybe they did play one or two like occasionally there here and there but uh those have either been privated or removed or something like that because this person is searching Power World, Nidhi Sanji, there was nothing. And now TCG Simulator, Nidhi Sanji. The big issue is that, of course, the um, Card Shop Simulator has uh, Tetramon, of course, as a part of their thing. Basically, they're part of their uh, table card game. And um, you can have mods that give you Pokemon ability. I'm actually using a mod that gives you Hololive cards, but you can use one for Pokemon itself. And of course, anything like that could get on the nerves of Nintendo. Now, Hololive has taken the choice of Heck, if it's a game that's going to give us perms and we have our talents who want to play it, we'll play it. A Nintendo shouldn't be getting angry because it isn't necessarily copyright infringement or anything like that. And uh, Tetramon is based on an actual mobile game of the same name. TCG Sim devs have also promised the actual card battle mechanics will be implemented into the game in the future. After reading the context for a few times, I still don't get what OP was trying to say. Someone please enlighten me. Something to do with Niji Sanji forbids their livers from streaming anything that might have to do something to do with uh, borrowed ideas from Pokemon. Basically trying not to anger the Pokemon company. And that's my, my whole point. And of course, um, I don't think that's the point. I, maybe they just never got permissions. Maybe they just never asked for permissions. It could be not trying not to get Nintendo angry. It could just be that they never wanted to play it. Who knows? I mean, it's very popular. It's been popular for a while. So who knows? The VTuber community went wild because Senzawa, if you know who Senzawa is, then you know, you know, um, she is someone in the Blue Dorito Company, as some people call it, uh, the Blue Triangle Company, someone in EN. And that's as far as I can go with with uh, giving you hints on who it is. 
because they're currently actually streaming in that organization. Doob, as we know, is the detective who decided to take a break from streaming. So that's how come people uh, can kind of get better hints. Like I can get better hints because that's kind of a line. If you're actively streaming for that organization, I kind of try not to push it out too much. If you, even in this case, they are an affiliate, but I still try to respect at least the majority of what's happening. And I just say the detective of hollow en so i say cute wonder if their collabs will be but oh well oh wait yeah their collabs are fire in the blue dorito company but uh the senzawa is no longer streaming has been streaming for over a year in the pl so why is mine wide open and yours is crossed like a lady somehow that line stuck in my head when it comes to these two and again people are saying you know nature is healing uh oh god this person just straight up put it out there <laughs> the nature of doobie's retirement is so strange with the content of this id getting active uh so many questions were not getting answered outside of a hypothetical behind the VTuber thing. In 20 years, after all, the NDAs are done and whatever. Also, in before the rats about Senzawa being active and what that means for redacted. Um, I don't think, I honestly don't think Senzawa is going to be active again. Uh, as far as I know, the person that Senzawa is in Hololive is not angry at Hololive. As far as I know, there are no issues with them in Hololive. So I don't see any reason why. They would be they would suddenly become active in their PL. There are no no taken like no long hiatuses announced, no you know hiatuses from streaming announced. There is no issues that I know going on there. And like I say as well, Dube, as far as I know, Dube in their Hollow Life persona does not have any issues. I'm not trying to start any weird rats going on or anything like that. As far as I know, there are no weird issues. There are no big issues. There are no small issues. There are no anything maybe except for the creative freedom that happens when you are a part of a large agency. If you are as creative as the person that is Dube in the Hollow Life company, then sometimes just having that creativity stifled even a little bit by rules can be a problem. And then that's when you move on to your PL. But nothing big as far as I know. It's just, you know, they've decided to move on. They're following each other before Hall Live on their PLs. Not the first time. Blank's been randomly active on their account. Honestly, I think she just likes the F of people doing S like this. So yeah, chaotic blue dummy is Send Senzawa. Kind of rings a bell if you think, think about it. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to, uh, of course, follow both of them and follow what they do and give you updates if I have any. A little bit of a meme. Uh, down here, the the I, the, 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 I you know me, I don't like I don't like the political stuff, but it's just funny. It's a little bit of a funny. I'm gonna keep this one short because yeah, it's it's it it goes onto the political side, and like I don't like the political side as you know, but they 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 made a bad name, the the any maga, which is supposed to be magazine, but you know what the other stuff is. Everyone's gonna get involved in it, so there we go. We're just gonna focus on this part. If you all remember, I covered that Mori Calliope was going to be having a big event where she was going to be the head, like an opening act, not a headliner, but an opening act for big names in Coke Studio. It, it's basically, it's going to be like it was a big Coke Stadium type of thing. Coca-Cola uh, was going to have a concert going on and they were going to have them there. Uh, day one, Wanted Wasted, Future Island, Go Getters. Day two, Wanted Wasted, Don Mai, and here we go. This was her, they went big. Holy crap, they went big for her. Don Mai live. Oh, nice, she got to perform Don Mai and Go-Getters today. They had to be a heck of a performance. That was on the 20th, by the way. That was on the 20th. So today, she's going to be doing Wanted Wasted and uh, Don Mai as well. So here we go. Look at all the lasers. Holy moly. How are you allowed to do this? <laughs> I don't know. It's like Cali unlocked her spiral power. This is insane. Coke Studio Live Studio, Creepy Nuts, Rar, Mori Calliope. That is huge. That is a fan, of course. That's a fan of hers showing, yep, you're on there. You're on the big names. You're on the big leagues now. Coke Studio, Coke Studio right here live. This was in Japan, by the way. Uh, who came to the second day of Coke Studio live? I definitely want to come to the Saitama Super Arena live again. Maybe by then I'll be able to escape from the big screen. And then boring, Coke Studio day two. Uh, maybe today they'll perform that song live for the first time. Please look forward to today too. And there she is with her plush. And of course, big ups, lotus -san. Thanks so much for coming to check it out. And y'all are in big trouble when you figure out how to move these around. <laughs> when she figures how to move those around, y'all are in trouble. <laughs> ah, yes. It's hilarious. But yeah, y'all y'all are in trouble when you figure out how she moves those around. It's, it's going to be one of those times that uh, a lot of people are going to be having lots of fun. It's just a great thing. Attention all Mint Phantom and Doki Bird fans. Phantom Thief is coming to Atlanta in 3D in December 14th. So here we go. Atlanta is having their own little uh, convention as well, like an anime convention type of thing. Uh, Oshi Spark is going to be the main one. Uh, attention all dragoons and wisps. Doki Bird and Mint Phantom will be taking the stage together in 3D for the first time ever, along with some special guests. Don't miss Phantom Thief's Revenge live at the Tabernacle in Atlanta. 
on December 14th. Pre-sale begins this Thursday. General on-sale starts on Friday. Uh, more information at phantomthief.com. Hi guys, accessibility options will be available specifically for someone who cannot stand long periods of time. The entire venue is in Georgia, which includes a seated balcony. If you'd like to be on the floor, the venue says this. For shows with general admission floor, please purchase a general admission ticket and inform the door security staff upon your arrival of your needs. We offer designated area for any patron with disability and one companion. Please note, this section is first come, first serve, but very rarely reaches capacity. So it is wonderful that they have that at least. And here's mint, Made Mint. Of course, saying last time, Doki and I did a concert together and ended up being super scuffed. So this is our revenge concert to make up for it. We'll be in 3D. So come watch us wiggle and be silly on stage. And of course, Phantom Thief here, Min Phantom and Doki Birth 3D Live Concert, December 14th. Register for free pre-sale on Ignite. Get tickets on Tigma Ticketmaster. The general admission is 65 bucks, which is the floor seats. VIP is 140, which I guess is the very front. Pre-sale October 21st at 10 a.m. So it's already happened, actually, as of this, this recording. It's already started. Uh, pre-sale is already starting to October 23rd. Please see Mint Doki's YouTube members post for information on how to register for the pre-sale. Uh, pre-sale is, uh, oh, this pre-sale registration is open. Pre-sale registration is open. Pre-sale itself will be open on the 24th to the 25th. General sale is October 25th at 10 a.m. For the VIP package, you get hand-signed postcard, tote bag, commemorative VIP plaque, laminate, and yarn, it's a laminate and yarn, lanyard, I my mistake. Commemorative holographic ticket, concert muffler, a towel, Phantom Thief keychain, digital message board submission, early access to venue and merch booth. Special guests, there are going to be three that are going to be announced, but they haven't been announced yet. So congratulations to them and big, big news for both of them to be in 3D. Cassian Floros had their original song, and I'm also involved, including in all of this, their 3D that was announced, and the 3D was announced here. Uh, the 3D debut is right around the corner. Don't forget to tune in October 21st. It already happened at 10 a.m. JST, with October 20th, 6 p.m. PDT. Uh, the waiting room was there, and of course, here is the 3D debut. With The, the waiting room was already done, and here is their 3D debut, as I did with uh, the other person that was involved here too, the pirate that they had, Galleon. More, fill up some more mana. Mmm. As far as it goes. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't exactly. Had people from Niti Sanji, of course, nothing wrong with that if you have friends outside of your agency in other agencies nothing wrong with that looks like it's Ver Vermillion and Shu Yamino correct me if I'm wrong it looks like them I may be very wrong please let me know if I'm wrong because I hope I'm not but they had them there which is good exactly a split so. <laughs> no <laughs> well, that's one two more lives better better 3D than any of them have gotten I'm sad. Two more lives. Oh, I feel like spoiler there will be more people. See something even more creative. I want to see you do the worm. Ooh. Ooh. You have some some uh, some people here. Uh, some more people here. Some very very uh, well some more well known people. So here you go. You have of course their Ooh. their group. <laughs> their group here. Pulling out a fish from the lake. Their um, oh. first stage production. A volume. Okay. As you can see here in first stage production, I'll show you here. There are volume boys. All here. Of course, you're gonna have all the volume yeah, boys Lucy, here. Yeah, can do more. Oh, okay. Why a volume, yes. A volume is there. Because I have another idea. Okay. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me double check. Um, if one guess. <laughs> oh, really, really well done. And then, of course, the part that we were all talking about, which is the original song, the song cover, cover song. It's cover. No original song. Original song. Come on, take my hand. Watch me, watch me more. Very nice. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a taste of that because, of course, I always want you guys to watch the original that is here. Music video, many, many more on Cassian Flotos' channel. You can take a look at that. It's really well done. It's not a full like animated music video, but still has many animations, has many effects on there. It's still expensive to make. So just wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea and a bit of a feel of this. Because, of course, I don't want to take any views from the actual channel or take any views from the actual person doing it. You guys can go and take a look at it yourselves as well. The heartwarming story of Naretan. Naretan is a JPV singer. She was doing a six-hour endurance karaoke stream, hoping to get to 2K subs. She fell just short of it. I believe it was like 30, 30 subs short of it uh, and went to bed slightly disappointed. Of course, when you try to get a goal and you can't reach it, it does suck. And then a certain Viking Kenzoku took notice and Sigma boosted her and she got to 5K. Let's, let's see what it is. This is not a done. You hear that? That's that's pretty damn good voice. 
She is at 5.95k subscribers. And this was her stream where she was doing some singing. She was trying to get to, right there, as you can see, trying to get to 2k. She got to 1960. 1970. But six hours would really, really, heck, one or two hours of singing the way that I sing, it strains my voice because I am not well trained. I do not have trained vocal cords for this stuff. So it does kind of affect me negatively when that happens. And here we go. This, the weakest Kenzoku. This guy, the Viking Kenzoku. He, Link Cat, Link Cat. And who right now has uh, 5,000 followers. Sigma boosted this. Said an indie V singer recently found an endurance karaoke hit 2,000 subs today. I listened to her sing for six hours while at work, but unfortunately she ended up falling short, 30 subs short of her goal. She's far too talented of a V singer to be overlooked. Uh, please check her out. This one itself got 266 69k that is a lot that is a huge signal boost uh me you soft vtuber you're very nice love that you're able to do this and be a positive influence to creators and fans alike you want to strive for dude thanks for being you what's the point of being a niche internet micro celebrity if you can't use it for good you have azahara you have vtuber fan error you have bsp a lot of different vtuber fans out there trying to get her to 2000 she's hit 2000 she's at 5.95k as of the recording of this video and she even did things she's like woke up and with over 2,000 people at first thought i was dreaming so glad so many people listened to my song thank you for fighting night at then and here you go this is her little comics she woke up to 2700 she was like what and uh then the next day she she, she got some beer she came back and she was at 3000 then next she she's at, like at one she checked and she has 4000 <laughs> from there it goes and it moves and it moves and it moves and then again she woke up again to 4.95k. 4, 4, 4. She's happy dancing time at 5k, of course. Anybody would be, especially after like a couple days getting to that point. Congrats on 5k, by the way. Kaigai Nikki, who is that? <laughs> Mama's like, who's Kaigai Nikki? And I hope it can reach 10k by the end of this year. It is doing well. And she did, again, another singing stream where she had like, celebrating 5.642. For people who don't know who that is, that's Roroni Kenshin, one of the old school Roroni Kenshin. Old school Roroni Kenshin. It not because now there's a new one. That's the old school Roroni Kenshin intro. If I'm not mistaken, it's the intro. Yes. It was freaking ah. I'm surprised she sang it. But holy crap, that goes back to the past. Holy moly. But yeah. Good times, happy times, fun times for her. So glad that she was able to get that. So glad that the community was able to rile up everybody and get her to 5.95k. As you know, I have covered the moment that Sayu got invited to Bandai HQ. I covered the moment that Sayu was able to have an off, off, off uh, stream meet and greet with a bunch of different VTubers, as in, like, they went out, they ate some stuff. And in Japan, when they were there, she got to meet a lot of VTubers as well. A lot of people that she wanted to meet, a lot of people that she talked to in, you know, her regular either Twitter or in YouTube or whatever. And uh, she was able to meet a bunch of people. Now, she has a lot of other fun things happening. Uh, looks good, not major news, but knowing Sayu enjoying herself is more than enough for me. Uh, Sayu winning, and you love to see it. She's winning in many ways, getting more Ws that she does, th that she actually deserves. Uh, you love to see it. What are those anyways? They look delicious. Are those fried sandwiches? Deep fried sandwiches with some filling. You, visually, the middle one looks like whipped cream with grapes. Japan really likes their whipped cream and sandwich fruits for some reason. Good to see her enjoying her trip. Although the whipped cream over there, I think it's a little bit sweeter than the whipped cream we have. So it says, I tried one of those internet famous places, age three. I actually read as Ahege. Uh, because it is unique places that fries the sandwich bread. Never seen it before. It tastes so good. There's whipped cream inside and ingredients on top. Definitely go back. Um, we have here. This is their stuff. They have mint, chocolate mint. I, I don't like, I don't like mint so much. Um, we have also the whipped cream thing. We have all these other ones. She got one that had kiwis on top nice like some some uh some jelly some gel of it it's actually damn that looks tasty Ahe, agehe, agehe, i believe is what it is and there we go nice little crackers in the middle of it that looks really delicious take me i will um emu japan take me sayu i will uh games went this year really like the curry one. Oh my god sounds so awesome definitely want to try it before she leaves if i can try it chibi i've been wanting to try this the creme brulee one i saw on tiktok looks so good biscoff love the biscoff cookies yeah the biscoff cookies were put in there good stuff i mean it's i'm just glad to see 
that she has this fun time. That's why I cover these things. Because, of course, everyone deserves to have good moments, especially Saya with the things that she's gone through, as we all know, as Zion, as what happened with Zion. But she's Saya Synchronicity now. Don't mention that other person's name, of course, just out of respect. I just do it because it is giving context to the whole situation. But every single thing she's done right now, she's done as Sayu. Every single thing she's earned right now, she has earned as Sayu. So I'm not trying to take anything away from Sayu herself. Because everything she's worked her ass off and earned it herself. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase wonderful VTubers that deserve every little bit that I can give them. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for uh, helping me pay it forward to the VTuber community and creating a wonderful space for you all. Today, we're going to be talking about Sudo the Catfish Indie VTuber. I am Sudo the Catfish, your adorable catfish VTuber. This is their uh, Twitch right here. Let's take a look at their bot section as I always do. Hey, hey guys, I'm just a weirdo that loves animals and loves to talk to myself in a corner. JK, I'm just here to have fun. Of course, you know, the rules are normal. Uh, my name is Sudo and I'm a catfish VTuber. Love puns and jokes and create fun environment for everyone to laugh and enjoy their time. Memes are one of my favorite things ever, and I like to draw and I love anime. I've got God and anime on my side. Believe it. And here we have the uh, YouTube channel, which is a little bit bigger, of course. They have Meet Canyon Animes. Can you find, uh, can you beat FNAF in real life? Uh, Casio got destroyed by fans. Things like that. Little, little uh, things that interest them. Reacts and things like that. Let's take a look at one of their clips here last month. <laughs> I just read that. Oh. Fred Whiplash 200 to Sade. If you hear me in a voice chat, better be ready to hear me snort a lot of times every time I laugh. <laughs> me too. I like to laugh. So there you go. You, they're they're watching some some more stuff here. They're watching some interesting things. Uh, someone make that's a very weird looking souffle or whatever it is a casserole casserole i think is what they're called weird looking casserole so that's an interesting thing to pop out and see uh but of course take a look at their channel if you want and i do hope that this helps you grow thank you so much for watching that is all the news that we have for today please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here which i will try my best to respond to i love seeing your comments down below of course as well like and subscribe to the channel uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day i do two videos a day so hopefully you enjoy 